Hello, subscribers and people who stumbled on into Captain Dave Sport Fishing YouTube channel, Jacksonville, Florida. Thanks for stopping by. Well, my subs will know all about this. It's here, folks. The other fish bag that I talked about in my last video. This is my second one that, to give you a little backstory, I have one from Blue Bottle Fishing in Australia that I bought many years ago. I love that fish bag. I was never a fish bag kind of guy. And all of a sudden now, I'm pressing it into service because I'm trying to keep my boat light and I'm kind of, I didn't move away totally. I got plenty of them. roto molded heavy, heavy coolers. I was kind of heavied out here on my boat and I'm trying to keep it light, at least for the winter, as you can tell. I'm all, it's been freezing here. Um, for the winter season, spring season, and maybe even the summer season. So what I did is I had this this stand up fish bag from Blue Bottle Fishing in Australia that I ordered years ago. I really like it because it's in a triangular kind of shape and it'll literally stand up even though on my boat, which I'll show you in a moment, I've got it hanging. And it's really working out for me. Taking a long walk to the fish bag. Oh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, yeah. time for a little ice. We got ourselves quite a box going here. And then we're going to add some, hopefully, add some black drum to it. Well, I was thinking about buying another one from Australia. And I go to bluebottlefishing.com.au, I guess, yeah, AUS or AU, meaning for Australia. And those bags are on a pre order situation. And it doesn't take that long, believe it or not, to get it. I think I got it in maybe. 10 days, maybe 12 days, all the way from Australia. It came, you know, via airplane. I didn't want to order one. So I was looking around, looking around, and I happened to find an a, what looked like on Amazon an identical sort of bag. Triangular shape that'll stand up and the same dimensions and it might be the exact same bag. We'll see here in a moment that I've already got and have been pressing in the service. So I ordered this one off of Amazon and it's from eatmytackle.com. And they happen to have this one on Amazon and I went and ordered it and it's already here. Well, I think it took two days and there goes the bat phone. All right, you had to jump down and grab the bat phone, and then I talked to a guy from Minnesota who had no earthly idea what he wanted. He didn't. I don't know what he wanted. He said it's just me. But then he's mentioning his friend, and he's from, he's here from Minnesota, and I gave him a one-person rate. Then I gave him the two-person rate, and I told him about what we're going to be doing, and then he's talking about going to Amelia Island or riding horses or something on the beach. So, you know, as we always say in the fishing business, I mean, especially if you're wanting tomorrow at seven o'clock and it's four, it's four right now. And tomorrow is, uh, he says, oh, it's going to be a wonderful day. And I said, well, if you like chilly and possibly breezy, but at the same time, I guess that would be a beautiful day in Minnesota, Minnesota. So, okay, to get back with what we're doing here, none of that, you know, the calls. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> so I got this there's their logo eatmytackle.com blonde bikini gal worldwide leader in offshore fishing tackle so let's bust open the box with our cold steel super edge I always have to read it it says it right there I have to read it because I always want to call it the wicked edge so you are seeing the opening is of the fish bag from eatmytackle.com just as I am okay because what did I say the review is based on the bag from Australia that seems very similar that I really like so let's see what this fish bag hmm might be a little bit different material, I can tell already. Don't want to ruin the box or anything, just in case. That's the reason why, you know, it's always a good thing to buy stuff off of Amazon. For the sheer fact, it's very easy to do a return. Alright, I can see some of the materials here are a little different already. But it does the same thing my other bag does, is it folds up via this. Now on my other bag, which I'll show you here in a minute, this, this is sort of a rubbery material. Let me turn the camera down just a little bit. Okay, this is sort of a rubbery material. There you go. Kill them and chill them. All right. So this is a little different. The handles are super beefy. I mean, I don't know how much I'd use those. And what do we got here? That's closing. And it's one of those almost like Yeti hopper bag type zippers which is usually a leak proof zipper okay a good pull on it which is nice let's see is it broken no it's not broken already all right it's kind of a two-way zipper now let's see it's supposed to be a stand-up bag right and it's supposed to be gusseted which it is. See how it's triangular shaped? All right. Seems like the construction is pretty good. Three quarter inch foam is inside here. So, yes, it is gusseted. It looks like it will stand up. Gotta get all these crinkles out of it from being packaged up. But it does look like it will stand up. Let me get it straightened out here. It does look like it will stand up. You put ice in the bottom. Think right how it is? There you go. And 74 quart fish bag material is much different than my other one not that that's good or bad but let's take it over to the other one and see all right well this is about the best i can do right here i mean to lay them both next to each other so let's go over each little thing here this one stands up see how it's standing up That one stands up. Absolutely no problem. All right. This one will stand up. The new one will stand up once it gets all unfrazzled here 
from, but it will stand up, I'm sure, when I put ice in it and stuff like that. Let's put them side by side. This is sort of a, this is a tarpaulin material, and this is a tarpaulin material that has a texture. This is smooth. All welded seams, electronically welded or whatever they call it. See how this one's got the triangle? This one will, but it's it's all been crinkled up. Okay, this uses all webbing. All right, webbing. This has some kind of tarpaulin material with webbing. Um, they're using that instead of the other webbing. This is just kind of like nylon webbing. This is like the tarpaulin material again. This may seem to be a little tougher, but I can see right there. They sew the ends of this and this. They just sewed right across here, and it's kind of open. Okay, the zipper on this one is a little old school. See, there's the um, the pull for it. And I don't know if this is a 100% leak proof. I've never had a problem with it leaking. Okay, that's a really big zipper. Really quite big. Let's look at the new one. This is sort of if you can see it right there this is sort of like a yeti hopper type everything on this is just smooth and tarpaulin like okay and that shuts where that looks like that is a 100 percent spill proof zipper okay kind of like those zippers on a wetsuit or something so it's just different materials, but I think this material seems a little stiffer over here. Maybe a little more rip stoppish. I don't know. But you can tell these are made from the exact same people, I believe. There's the drain. You got a drain here. Same exact type drain. All right, same drain over here. You got a drain built into it. So I'm very pleased. All right, this one has this type of handle. Okay, has a webbing type handle. Let's see, let me adjust this for you. This is has the just a webbing, and then this has this like you're going on a hike and you're going to be carrying it, you know, for miles or something. All right. So this one had this mini fish chiller with a Australian snapper. And this one says, kill them and chill them. Eat my tackle.com 74 quart fish bag with a 33 inch. 33 inch measuring stick on it but this will hang just like my other one um, looks like if you look at them right next to each other and if you have any other questions just put them down in the comments and I'll try to answer it there you go look at that exact same dimensions pretty much in every way so I'm very pleased it just needs to sprawl out here okay but that's the reason I get it so they'll stand up just like this one stands up no problem I'm wondering about the foam though the insulation properties Let's check that out. Well, 
three quarter inch closed cell foam in here. The stitching on the zipper. Maybe a little tighter stitching over here than here. Okay, this stitching here. There you go. This stitching here seems okay, but I guess it's probably the same. See, these are, I can tell already, these are reinforced, if you can see it. See this ridge here? Around where it's almost doubled up in here. It's almost like doubled up. It's thermo welded here. And this one isn't welded around these handles. But I don't think anything would ever happen to it. That's the uh, Eat My Tackle. Let me show you how, if you didn't see my last video of how I hang this bag. All right, I mean, it would just sit right on the deck, but what I do with it is I got this strap around my pole here. I take the back strap here and I stick that in. And then I've got a fender hanger over here with a, with a uh, snap on it. And I snap it in there. And it hangs drain down. So that's what I'm going to do over on this side. Let's see, make sure you can see. I'm going to do the same thing over on this side. Move my fenders out of the way. going to do the same thing right here. Got another strap. I think I just need one more clip for over here. Let me go get that and I'll show you. Well, I got this other rapid strap from the depot. The Home Depot. And I'm going to put it around here. Velcro and I can take this. See this trap this is how you wrap it up. So this will just lay. And I'll put this in here like that. I'll come down here. switch these out. Let's see. I got a, a big snap and a small snap. This is just how I'm doing it, you know? That there. Then take this other strap with this other snap. side one on this side see how that one's more puffy because that one's all opened up that one's laying kind of flat because it's brand new so then I know from other coolers other soft-sided coolers that I've had you want to keep some of this uh, zipper lubricant kind of handy because you want to put this on the zippers every once in a while to keep them working good. Zipper lubricant or, geez, just use Vaseline, you know what I mean? So keep that handy. And then I'll be putting my fenders back where I used to keep them, up in the hole here. So, I'll just put my 
fenders back up here where I used to keep them. do an on the water usage video also all right there you go that's the eat my tackle 74 quart 40 inch stand up it'll stand up fish bag all right looks like it's going to work to me i will follow up with usage and put nice in it and it standing up and the whole nine yards on the next video so thanks for stopping by and this has just been a follow-up unboxing you could order this you can visit my tools of the trade page which is my amazon reviewed items page and things that i recommend and use every day meaning tools of the trade tools of the trade of fishing or charter fishing either way you want to look at it sitting around the house got nothing to do i think i'll go fishing scare away the blues i'm going fishing